us a uh, welcome from Mars. And uh, today we are going to continue our topic on self sociology And uh, we are going to investigate the process of osmosis. So the major aim of our study today is uh, to investigate the process of osmosis. Now, to investigate the process of osmosis, we need uh, to demonstrate how osmosis takes place. So what we need? We need 500 centimeters cubic glass beaker. We need 8 centimeters cubic visking tubing, 12 them. We need 10 centimeters long thread. We also need uh, distilled water, glass rods, and then we need two solutions. One is 70% glucose, and the other one is 10% glucose. So when we talk of 70%, what we mean is that you take 100 centimeters cubic of water, then you dissolve 70 grams of glucose. And 10% uh, means uh, in 100 centimeters cubic of, of distilled water, we have 10 grams of glucose. Now, so how are we going to go about this procedure? Now, first we need to put 30 centimeters cubic distilled water into a beaker. So we take a beaker and we place 3350 centimeters cubic of distilled water. This is distilled water. Now, after that, so this is our beaker with the distilled water. And the water must be distilled. The water must be distilled. Then, the second thing is dip two visking tubings, each 8 centimeters long in water to moisten it. So you moisten the visking tubings and then to open the rub, rub the tubing between your fingers and then and tie one end with the thread and tie one end with the thread. Then half fill, that is number three, half fill the first visking tubing with sugar solution. A and tie the open end of the tubing. So tubing, see visking tubings normally look like this. So after opening them, you tie one end. You tie one end. tightly with a thread. So this is our thread. This is our visking tubing. Then one of them you fill with solution A. Solution A. And another solution A is 70% uh, glucose solution, 70% glucose. And then I fill the second visking tubing with solution B. I fill the second visking tubing with solution B. Um, after that, so you have two visking tubings. You have the first visking tubing containing 70% glucose. And then we have the second this tubing containing solution B which is 10% glucose. So you have two things. One is 70 and one is 10. Now, if you look at the one which is more concentrated, then from here you can say this A is more concentrated 
than B. Why? Because solution A has more glucose than solution B. Solution A has more glucose than solution B. Now, if solution A has more glucose than solution B, then it means that even the process that will take place will not be the same. The process that will take place will not be the same. Now, what will we do next? Immerse the visking tubings into the still water. Immerse the visking tubings into the still water in the beaker and suspend it in the solution using the glass one. and suspend it in the solution using a glass one. Now we have something like that. We have a beaker, the water, and now we are suspending. So the glass one will be somewhere here. So these two threads are tied to a glass one. So the two solutions are suspended into the still water. The one on this side is 70%. This one is 10%. So let's move on and see what will happen. Leave the setup for 30 minutes. Leave the setup for 30 minutes. Or sometimes you can even leave it for 40 minutes. Start to around 40 because the process is a slower. So if you leave that setup for 30 minutes, then this is what will happen. This is what will actually happen. So you can see, uh, let me just repeat. I will repeat it several times. I want to watch the size, the change in the size of the two solutions with the time. I want you to watch the change in size of the two solutions. So you notice that all of them are changing. All of them are changing. All of them are changing. Yes. So from the original, I want to compare them with the original. Look at the original. These are the original. But after some time, this is how they will appear. Now, we ask ourselves, why is it that there has been that change from the original size to the final appearance? And we have seen them increasing in size. So, for these things to increase in size, for the two whisking tubings to increase in size, it means there is an increase in the content inside. There is an increase in the content of substances inside. So, what is causing that increase? What is causing the increase is water is moving into the visking tubings but is water moving at the same rate into A and into B? No, obviously the rate of movement is not the same because if you look at this A the size it has swollen the increase is much faster and the size of increase is also much larger. It has become larger as compared to B. So more water has moved into A than in B. But why? The reason is when we look back, you realize that this one is more concentrated, 70%. This one is less concentrated. So if maybe to explain that experiment, to explain that experiment, I will have my diagram here. This is water, the beaker, this is the glass box. Then this is the thread. 
we have the this team two and then we have this again So this is A, this is B. A is 70% and this one B is 10%. Now, let's say water is completely pure, meaning water has 0% solid. 0% solid. So the difference in concentration is quite large. The difference here is 70%. Here the difference is 10%. Now, one of the factors that affect the rate at which water moves by osmosis is the concentration. The higher the difference, the higher the rate of osmosis. So let us uh, leave it there for now and then. Continue in the second part to explain what is happening during this process.